Hello, it's Who Time, and welcome to another in the series of custom action figure showcase videos, where I'll show you a number of completed customs, all from the same story or serial. Now, when I'm not busy with work, seeing family and friends, and doing YouTube, you can be sure I'm making custom Doctor Who action figures, as I find it fun and relaxing. Now, if you want to keep up to date with my custom work, it's best to follow me on my Instagram, as that's where I post most about this hobby. So head over there for more. So what's happening in today's instalment? Well, I'll give you a clue. Today, we're looking at three figures from the second Doctor serial, The Wheel in Space, comprising of two Cybermen, the only classic Cyberman design to not have an official release from character. They did a prototype, but alas, it never got released. We live in hope. Plus, a cute little servo robot that appears in the first few episodes of the serial. Now, for those long-standing viewers, you may be thinking, hang on, you've already done a video on a Wheel in Space Cyberman custom. Indeed, I did, but I've made some significant improvements to that custom as I've become better at customization plus I know some useful links to 3d printed parts which I thought would be good to share now that previous video goes into detail on how to kit bash the parts from both the invasion and tomb sideman figures so please go and check that out first and then in this video I'll just pick up from where that video ended to show what's changed since then so this is what I originally made it's a good faith effort but there's absolutely room for improvement Notice that the head is simply an adjustment of the Tomb Cyberman head with teardrops added to the eyes and mouth slit using a small handheld drill then repainted. You can also see I didn't bother to do all the little boxes of the tubing on the limbs or fully remove the peg bits at the knee on the Invasion Cyberman legs or add on the tape around the thighs. First thing was to change the head. Now NDW Design in conjunction with Helena Souza produced a wonderful wheeling space Cyberman head sculpt. Of course it was a no-brainer to buy this and replace the amended tomb cyber head with this new 3d printed resin one which was stuck on with milliput in between if you want to get hold of the wheel and space cyber head sculpt it's best to contact ndw design of course he periodically does print runs of older releases for those who missed out the first time around you can get in touch through his etsy twitter instagram and through his dedicated facebook group links will be in the video description of course next i tackled the box with the tubing details on the arms and legs. I'd already done some, but they were a little untidy, so I sanded those down and made them a bit more neat and square. I added a few more that I'd missed before. These were then all painted silver. The two bits of tubing on each side of these boxes were simply cut up parts of the old plastic metal wire cable ties we used to get in character options Doctor Who figure releases. I had these in my custom spares organizer. These were all cut to the same length and then stuck on with super glue. For the tape around the thighs, I also used an Another bit found in Character Options Doc 2 packaging, the transparent elastic band that also holds the figures in their plastic tray or plastic shell. I cut that to the required length and then stuck that on with super glue as well. I of course then repeated this whole shebang outlined just now and in my previous video to create a second Wheel in Space Cyberman 2. Now if you don't fancy having to make the chest units, hands or the little boxes with tubes on either side, there's an alternative option. You can simply buy a kit with those exact pieces from Copycat Customs of Instagram. He often sells this kit on his eBay under the profile Kadu underscore 56. Last but not least, to go with my two Wheel in Space Cybermen, it's only appropriate that they have a servo robot. It's a cute little robot that appears at the start of the serial. It reminds me of those little droids you get in Star Wars, especially those little walking ones. This figure is a 3D printed kit. I got the parts printed in plastic filament and so it was a little rough around the edges. Once assembled I had to tidy it up with milliput and some Citadel liquid green stuff to make it a bit more smooth. And then of course I painted it based on the colour reference images that are available on the website I'm about to disclose to you. So this kit was designed by a lovely American who who makes excellent 3D printable renders on his website www.3dprintingdoctorwho.com and the best part is that they're free so you just need to worry about the cost of printing if you want to print one I don't have a go-to 3D printing service provider but there are fans in the community that may be willing to print for you so maybe get in touch with them alternatively you can simply google a service provider I recommend printing it in resin for a much more detailed sturdy and smooth quality print plastic filament is just none of those things things so it took longer to make my one and make it look nice well there you go 
That's three figures representing the wheel in space. I'm pretty chuffed with them all. I'm glad I went back to my original wheel in space side my custom and improved it, plus made a second one. It's a shame that the official character options version never made it to release, even though it was prototyped and this image leaked ages ago. It may still make an appearance as an online exclusive or something like that, who knows. I think mine looked very accurate to this and plugged the gap on the shelf perfectly. The servo robot is also a nice niche addition to the Doctor Who figure collection and also fairly simple to do. Huge thanks to NDW Design, Helena Souza and Troy Wood. These figures wouldn't have been possible without you. The links to their respective online presences will be in the video's description, of course. As usual, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, plus go and follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the links shown on screen. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.